Sandra, good morning and welcome. It's Corporate Governance Platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, X and I am Fumi Omoburiwo. Uh, the Institute is a member of the Corporate Secretaries International Association, CSIA, a Hong Kong registered global organization that is dedicated to developing and growing the study and practice of secretaryship to improve professional standards, the quality of governance practice, and to improve organizational performance. All right, today on the program, we will be looking at the ICSAN 2021 Annual Public Lecture. Our guest this morning is Mr. Sheson Shobowali, FCIS, his chairman, Ixan Annual Public Lecture Committee. Good morning, sir. Good morning. All right. Thank you. It's good to have you on the program. Thank you very much for inviting me. All right. Also here is Mr. Kaede Ketefe, FCIS, Head of Research, Ixan. Good morning, Mr. Ketefe. Good morning, Fumi. Good morning to you, all our listeners. My pleasure to be here. All right. Before we move ahead, let's take this message. We'll be right back. Hey, Obina, good to see you. Uh, you look so worried. Is everything all right? I'm having serious issues in my company. Balancing the interests of my company's many stakeholders like shareholders, management, customers, financiers, governments, and communities giving us a problem. Mm, that has to do with corporate governance. Exactly. Then, you need to get in touch with ICSAN. Ixan? Yeah. Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria. ICSAN. They provide you with seasoned and top-ranking professionals trained to uphold the standards of corporate governance and efficient operations. You can also get in touch with Ixan if you want to become a chartered secretary and administrator. Contact Ixan by visiting the website www.ixan.org or call 0096-601-69. Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. There is the corporate governance platform right here. Like I said earlier, we're looking at Ixan 2021 annual public lecture. Uh, Mr. Shobowali, let's look at it this way. What's the essence of the Institute's uh, annual public lecture? Okay, that's a very good question. Now, the Ixan Annual Public Lecture Series is a thought leadership event of Ixan. It was introduced by the Governing Council several years ago. Um, as a platform for Exxon to contribute positively to the promotion of corporate governance, the growth and advancement of Nigeria as a credible and competitive investment destination, the promotion of the growth and advancement of M the MSME sector, and contribution to public discourse in, in Nigeria in general. Okay, uh, this year's theme, uh, Sustainability Beyond Rhetoric, as a corporate survival strategy. Uh, what informed the choice uh, for this year's theme? Now, one of the challenges of the economic upheaval um, that we've experienced globally and in Nigeria um, since COVID uh, struck um, early 2020 is the survival and sustainability of businesses and organizations. And in addition, the world is at the moment preoccupied with the issue of the sustainability of the earth. And in terms of how we use the earth's resources today in a responsible way that ensures the survival of coming generations. Now, these twin issues are the heart of the sustainability discussion. Of course, we've seen that since the pandemic started, businesses that pay attention to the issue of sustainability uh, are fared better. And we've also seen, um, you know, in time past, that when we've had global disruptions, businesses that have um, um, bothered to consider how their footprint today affects um, the future have, have generally fared well. So given this background, the Institute feels that a deep dive into the relationship between doing good and doing well will be of great benefit to the society in general and our key st stakeholders in particular at this time. And that's why uh, we're focusing on sustainability beyond rhetoric, rhetoric as a corporate survivor strategy. 
All right, great. Uh, let's also look at uh, the resource persons. Uh, I wanted to talk about the guest speaker and the discussants and what informed uh, the choice of uh, these resource persons. Now, given the importance of the uh, subject of the public lecture, we thought that we should bring together a group of people who have not only studied the subject of sustainability, but actually uh, practice it and have a deep experience around that subject. And that's why, for example, this year, our guest like speaker is Mrs. Shade Morgan, who is an accomplished lawyer, a public affairs and sustainability a professional. She's had about 30 years uh, career spanning corporate commercial legal practice and um, storied experiences in several of Nigerian multinationals, British American Tobacco, Nigerian Bottling Company, uh, Nigerian Breweries PLC. She's currently the Corporate Affairs Director of Nigerian Breweries PLC. And in, in that role, she manages uh, the sustainability agenda for, you know, one of Nigeria's largest uh, multinationals listed on the stock exchange. Um, proud to her joining Nigerian breweries, I mean, she, she spent several years at Nigerian Bottling Company, where she occupied a, a similar position. And she it was, in fact, the founder and chairman of the Food and Beverage Recycling Alliance of Nigeria, which is an organization focused on how, how to um, manage effectively the impact of, you know, manufacturing activities on the environment both for today and for tomorrow now the two panelists um the first uh, mrs olua soromida your judge is the corporate affairs and sustainable business director of unilever in nigeria and west africa and um she's 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 had um, um a deep experience in sustainable business and development corporate social responsibility uh, public policy advocacy, campaign planning, and, and implementation. And she has proven track record of spearheading in, in innovative in, initiatives within the FMCG sector and non-profit organizations in, in Nigeria. I mean, prior to her joining Unilever, she was also at BAT, and she was also in the NGO sector, driving the issue of uh, sustainability in business. The second panelist is Mrs. Bekeme, Masade Olokola, who is the CEO of an organization called CSR in Action. Um, CSR in Action is an organization that promotes sustainable um, uh, uh, measurements and reporting using the Global Reporting Initiative um, 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 guideline. And she's also, in fact, a member of the board of directors of the Global Reporting Initiative, which is the world's leading sustainability impact measurement and reporting standards body. And um, um, she, she, she also uh, pushes this agenda uh, through a radio program that she hosts every week, uh, the Good Citizenship Show. So you can see that um, our lineup of guest speaker and panelists uh, at this year's event are seasoned professionals who have practiced and have been involved in pushing sustainability in business, in several business across several sectors. And I'm confident that they will do justice um, uh, to the topic of the discourse at this year's public lecture. Also, of course, they'll be supported by our chairman, the chairman of the event, who is Mr. Sonny Allison, who I can you know, describe as a serial entrepreneur and supply chain expert. He's currently the founder and executive chairman of GMC Logistics. Um, he also founded Restar Express and has had um, a working experience in British American Tobacco and DHL International. They will be supported by our President and Chairman of Council, Mr. Bode Ayeku. Well. All right, great lineup, I must say. Now, given the quality of knowledge that is usually impacted on stakeholders annually at this lecture, um, why does the Institute make it a free non paying event? Okay, first of all, our institute is a non-profit making organization chartered by a hack of parliament to promote good corporate governance in Nigeria. But even at that, uh, non-profit making bodies need to generate revenue to build a sustainable organization. However, our, the leadership of our institute took a decision several years back 
that we need to make a contribution to the growth and development of Nigeria and shape policy making, elevate the debate on several topical issues beyond the pedestrian level that they are often held at and make a contribution to society. And that informs the reason why this event is a non-fee paying event. It is one of the Institute's um, CSR programs. Oh, okay, great. Now, does this event attract credit points? Uh, what advantage or advantages accrue uh, from accumulation of credit points from the Institute's program? Okay, the, the event ac ac attracts one credit point, and okay. this goes towards the Institute's mandatory continuing educational program. And in terms of the advantages, of course, you know, I've mentioned the MCP. Um, if you want to advance to associate membership or fellowship of the Institute, you need to demonstrate um, your attendance at some of these programs. And this annual public lecture counts towards um, your um, being appointed to be an associate or fellow of the Institute of Charter Secretaries of Nigeria. It's This is going to be the second year that uh, we'll be having X and annual public lecture uh, virtually. Uh, from your experience uh, from last year, are you wary or having any worries about any challenge or challenges uh, this year also using the same method? Okay, good, good question. Now, with every innovation, um, there are challenges, but we prefer to focus on the positives. Last year, for example, we had about 200 participants who are, who are participating globally who actually stated the end. Over, um, over 500 people registered for the event. But there are several advantages of having this important event in a virtual format. First, when attendance was physical, we'll only be able to take as many people as the event all can accommodate. With a virtual event, you know, the number of attendance is limitless. You know, it's going to be broadcast on Zoom, and it's going to be streamed on YouTube, and we can take several thousands of people. Second, with a physical event, you'll need to travel from your home or office and factor in travel time, traffic bottleneck in Lagos, stress of moving around. With this format, you can join and contribute uh, to the discourse from your home, from your office, and you don't need to get around. Thirdly, you avoid the cost of traveling, whether that's in the uh, form of hiring, means of transportation, or buying fuel for your car. And this, these considerations tend to make this seem like an elitist event, but we also think that today, especially in the last two years, we've essentially leapfrogged. Everyone is getting used, you know, to doing things virtually. And we're confident that the attendance this year uh, will be far surpassed what we had last year. What kind of expectations should uh, participants have concerning this year's lecture? Now, participants should expect a knowledge-filled and intellectually stimulating conversation from the experts that we have assembled from various backgrounds, people who know their onions. They should also expect an engaging session that they themselves will be able to participate in by the questions they ask, the comments they make, and responses to the polls that will be conducted during the event itself. And finally, they should expect that the public lecture will come up with practical solutions to some of the issues confronting businesses and government in Nigeria at different levels today. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Sheston Shobowali. Mr. Ketafe, let me come to you uh, for announcements at this time. Thank you very much, Fumi. The first announcement is on the 2021 pre-induction MCP slated to hold on 19th of July 2021. The Institute hereby announces that our 2021 pre-induction mandatory continuous professional education program MCPE will hold on Monday, July 19th, 2021 at 10 a.m. The topics that will be treated by carefully selected experts are digitalizing your business processes for enhanced productivity issues for consideration this will be taken by the chairman of Oyo state chapter of exam mr c abiodun fcis the second topic is understanding and managing the dynamics of an organization stakeholders in contemporary times and this will be taken by mrs omar waleola odufalo fcis the third topic is entrenchment of ethical practices in the Nigerian business environment, challenges and solution. And this will be taken by Mr. Muhyiddin Ibrahim, ACIS. The MCP is going to be held by factual method. Don't forget once again, the MCP is holding on Monday, July 19, 2021. 
For further information, please send a mail to membership at ixan.org or call Ujiji on 080-237-83043. I tell that again. You can call Ujiji on 080-237-83043. The second announcement is on Ixan training on NDPR implementation framework. Dear governance professional and informed members of the public, the Institute is hereby inviting you to her one day NDPR implementation framework, which is scheduled to hold on July 27th, 2021 at 10 a.m. prompt. The training is, is entitled NDPR implementation framework, enhancing data security. The Nigerian Data Protection Regulations 2019 requires public and private organizations holding private data of individuals to comply with stringent rules on data privacy protection. With the new data protection rules, companies need to empower their personnel and to implement policies which will ensure secure exchange of data and protect the privacy of individuals. That is why the Institute is organizing this training with a view to breach the knowledge gap. Therefore, we are pleased to invite you to attend and or nominate delegates for this event and you definitely reap the bountiful gain in terms of knowledge enhancement and capacity building. Specifically, the training will equip participants with the knowledge and skills to navigate their data privacy compliance, create privacy policies and implement measures to ensure their organization meet all the regulations and standards set by Nigeria Information Technology Development Agency, NIDA. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Mr. Kadi Ketefe. Also, big thanks you to our guests this morning, Mr. Sheson Shobo, FCIS Chairman, Ixan Annual Public Lecture Committee. All right, that's it this morning on Corporate Governance Platform, brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan. We we'll return again next week, Wednesday, 10.15 a.m., right here on Equity 9.7 FM. I am Fumi Omoburiu, and the rest of the day.